Why hello you amazing beautiful people and welcome back to another Vinland Saga reaction video. I really liked episode one. I'm very excited about episode two. I'm curious to learn more about, uh, to be honest, the one thing I'm curious about is I don't remember there being much story around the Vikings in America. And now I know Vinland means America. In my head, I'm just thinking, is this going to be all about like the colonization of America? But that didn't happen by the Vikings, so I don't understand. So me just saying that out loud just sounds silly. Um, yeah, it's called Vinland Saga. So it's got to be around America, right? Or is it more the idea of getting there? I guess we'll see. Like the video, subscribe for more. And let's jump into my first time ever reaction to Vinland Saga, episode two. The opening is so good, but I have to, I can't just, I can't, I can't just sit here and listen to it every single time. It's so good. I literally got sucked into it, like, unintentionally as well. Such a good opening. You know what, actually, I need to download this opening. I need to download this opening, man. Download Vinland Saga opening. I need to do it. I need to do it. I don't know if I'm, I, my, when I do my revisited series on GOT Extra, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do Vinland Saga. Because I've heard the opening so much behind the scenes. I don't even know if I'm going to do it. God, they're just so awesome, aren't they? What was that guy eating? Oh, it's such a good opening! But yeah, so, for anyone who doesn't know, I always skip the openings because we do a revisited opening series on the second channel. Um, GOT Extra. But also, most of the time, I will listen to them and cut them out. Um, just of YouTube for copyright reasons. So, yeah, just so people know. Just so people don't get angry at me. Is this England? The Vikings based in Northumbria. <laughs> oh! Oh! Is that a thing? Didn't know that. <laughs> That's a good opening. <laughs> so we are going to see some England. <laughs> All right, I, I'm pretty sure Vinland Saga is completely safe. But I'm going to pause it here to remember to check that there was no nipple shown just then. Um, okay. <laughs> Don't spare them. The, the sword noises kind of sound like the Age of Empires sword noises. Jesus. Well, this took a different turn. What dark opening. ああ、戦場がちっちゃった。もう、なんでいつもすぐにやられちゃうんだろう。死体は喋っちゃダメだ、トロフィー。お前、いつもマッサキにしなよな、ファクシー。うーん。天国にあるバルハラでは毎日お
It's just like a random move that a kid would do. Very like, that's such a like a subtle animation that I actually really appreciate. あ、僕の父上はミードが好きだよ。分けてもらえば was supposed to celebrate the end of winter or something. The end of winter solstice. And uh, in paganism and Viking tradition, they used to have like a big sort of festival um, to like celebrate like the end of winter. And then the, like they moved, was it the Romans? Someone moved like the birth of Jesus to pretty much take over that date. I, 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 this is all like citation needed. Um, it's just like vague stuff I remember. So I'm sure someone in the comment section uh, will know a bit more than I. Turgin, <coughs> a warship has come. <coughs> By the way, if I cough and stuff, I'm still not 100%. So forgive me. Is he not cold? Is he not cold? Well, this does not seem good. I I don't know much about nothing, but this seems bad. Tolerzutte, <laughs> They look pissed. Oh,トールズさんに礼を。まさかここまで探しに来るとはな。フローキ。is that the guy he fought with, Blockhead? He is, isn't it? It's the guy he fought with in the first episode. We all know what this is. This is that classic, like, they always do this in medieval movies. They did it in Game of Thrones, where, like, two characters meet each other, and they're like, what the fuck are you doing here? Well, what the fuck are you doing here even more? You son of a bitch. And then they, like, Cuddle each other and they laugh. They go, ah ha ha, good to see you. Ah, good to see you too. I brought the meat. Ah ha ha, I have the women. Ah ha ha ha. Like that, yeah. You can wait, Froki. There are. Must was Jorik no Kyokao. Nani mono nandaro na, Torts. Maybe not now. Wakai Koroni, Ixa Bataraki, or Stetatoa, Kitakato. Koe got the Kyo, are. Maybe I was wrong. I was wrong. I was totally wrong. I was totally wrong. I'm a bit sad I'm wrong, but I was wrong. The no kishu that to you got this. Then low kakchi the walk no demark jinga. Ingrandogun ni satsma isaremashita. So stesonakanyo. 
デンマーク国王スベンの妹君、グンヒルド様もいたとのこと。Oh, shit. 妹の敵討ち。スベン王は良い口実を得ました。大きな戦が始まります。They killed the king of Denmark's sister, the king of the Dane's sister. れら戦士の出番です。People are gonna yell at me if I get that wrong. Let me just make sure. でました。そしてそのデンマーク国をスベンの妹君、グンヒルド様もいたとのこと。Yeah, cool. I got that wrong. I know I'm getting out in スベンを良い口実を得ました。<笑>大きな戦が始まります。我ら戦士の出番です。戦ヨーム戦士団はデンマーク軍と連合します。来たる春には。イングランドへの侵攻が始まりました。Interesting. 好きにするがいい。Is this not around the same time? Remember, I told you one of my favorite like, historical stories around the Vikings? It's, it's not really one of my favorite, it's one of the darkest, but it's a story I'm like, I remember like, if you, there's like a top 10 most one sided battles in history, I think the Vikings were on the list twice, but one of the most famous wars is where. Uh, like there was,、um, it was like、oh, the War of a Bridge or something like that. Someone in my last video mentioned it. I swear it's around this time period. This Villa Saga is going to be really interesting. Because England were very strong around this time period. When the Vikings first invaded, like 200 years before this, they weren't really. マリーダーオーダーミッドギャバディンタイフリー。ゼンカンタイヨムスボルグニシューケツセヨ。レーガイワンナイ。ウォカリカナソノモノガタトエ。ダソウヘトイエドモンネ。ダソウ。Is it deserter? ヨムセンシダンダイタイチョウ。トロルノトロズ。コノトロウイクソ。あなたも参戦するのです。トールズ殿、この度のことは我が首領の恩情なのですよ。15年前、行方不明になったあなたが、この度晴れて戦線に復帰する。すべてを不問にしてそういうことにしてくださるというのです。我が首領はそれほどにあなたの腕を。I don't blame him. After we saw in episode one, this guy seems to be kick ass with a s それを伝えるために、軍船で来ることはあるまい。村の者が動揺している。<笑>おかわりになられましたな、あのトールズ殿が。あるいはこの村が変えたのか。だ、逃げろ逃げろ<笑>よい村だ。子供の様子でわかる。戦災とは今日まで無縁だったのでしょうな。<笑>聞いたか、戦だぞ。すっげえ。俺初めてだよ。わざわざ海越えてトールズさんを誘いに来たんだぜ、あいつら。Is weird. It's weird, it's weird, it's weird. Because you know, this is like how it would be, but it's weird because they're kids. Obviously, Thor knows that. That's why he's not happy. You can tell he's like not happy. He wants them to be free of war. He just wants them to be kids. You can tell. This is like a really dark scene with the kids being excited about it, especially. <laughs> でもよ、俺ら連れてってもらえるかなおめえは無理だな、弱えもん。んだよ、それやっぱ強くねえとダメか。まあ、その点俺は大丈夫だな。お前ら、人を切ったことねえだろ。そういう経験があるかないかで。うん、の、終わり。子供の使いじゃないんですよ。あなたがこたびの戦に加わらぬとおっしゃるなら、私は守命を果たせぬし、我が狩猟の面目も潰れる。そうなれば、とても手ぶらでは帰れません
Oh no. So this guy is a prick. We don't like this guy. He's threatening the whole village now. If he's either saying he's going to screw over the village, or he's saying if Thor won't go, they're gonna have to take some other people with him. ヨムスボルグに基地を持つ軍団だ。トールズが昔ヨムの戦士だったとはな。強いんすか。強い。あまりに強くて、ベンドランド王などは彼らから税金を取れないでいるほどさ。北海最強を自負する軍団だ。お
その軍船と船団を組むことにしたよそうか確かにその方が安全だいざって時は俺らが守ってやるからよそれは頼もしい。しかしかしかし。Leaf is the best, by the way. つも戦好きなことよ。He's hilarious. He yeah, Leaf is the best. He's so funny. トルフィンのやつ。かこめかこめ。やろう。やった。やった。トルフィン。死ねよトルフィン今やられただろルール守れよなだだ<笑>おなんだこいつ大丈夫か待てよトルフィン He's been told he can't go, so he's angry, isn't it? <笑> that's, that's what I reckon. He was told he couldn't go. He's taken out his anger on all his, his poor little bros. Poor little bros. And Lee Erickson, I feel like he's just a great character already. Oh! あげるぞイリシーニーノさんよしもう一度行くぞ通るぜ What's the dub like for Vinland Saga by the way? Random question んいざ折れてるな子供の遊びにしちゃやりすぎだ一月の間添え着をしておいてくれすまんな通るぜトルフィンがやったんだよあいつ最近ムカつくんだ<笑>手加減しねえしもう絶対仲間に入れてやんねえ本当かうちの子は<笑>そそれはすまなかったよく言って聞かせる<笑>気にすんなよ子供同士のことだでもまだ6つだろ4つ5つ上の子たちに怪我させるとは大したもんだよいい戦士になるぜあの子はやっぱりあんたの血だよトールズ It's a game, dude. His kid. They do all seem very hurt, though, but he wasn't playing by the rules. Thor thing, you can't go around doing that. Kore is Sikikrango, Yazi. Jisamono Daikano Kaho no Bugde. Zombuni Tatakatekoi. I don't like this. Oh, Kakezo are. Ore no Mitegre. Umano Kubio Ichigi Otostats may hinder me. Oh, take an ah. え、戻ったらやりだよ。おお、何なら勝負するか。何を殺すか。もうあんたってこは、何でもかんでも放りっぱなしにすんなよなって。ほら、聞いてんの。片付けないと捨てちゃうよ。いいの。え、もういらない。
like pulling the blade out, the reflection on his face, and then like saying it's beautiful, his the hand reaching down and grabbing it, and then the grip of the blood, like showing the seriousness of what's actually happening. That scene was amazingly done. Ken ga hoshi ka, Torfi. Ken wa hito korosu dogu da. Omae wa kore de dare o korosu tsumori nanda. De teki. Omae no teki wa dare nanda. Ha ha fudan to ka. Yoku kike, Torfi. お前に敵などいない。誰にも敵などいないんだ。He's still holding the blade between his hands. 傷つけて良いものなどどこにもいない。お、おかしいよそんなの。だって父上は明日戦に行くんでしょ。敵を殺しに行くんでしょ。子供じゃない。父上は嘘を言ってる。僕にだってわかる。トルフィン。ドゥ、トルフィン。ドゥ、アリス。危ねえって。アリス、hold the blade the right way。ヘルガ。はい。great wife。あの子。God, this has been done so well. This whole episode, like the contrasts between the younger generation, just like wanting to go to battle, wanting to fight, wanting to see war, wanting to like gloriously give their lives. It's、so、like the older ones, Leif Erikson and Thor, and the household, like who have experienced battle, experienced these dangers. Being so serious and dark about it, not wanting their kids to experience this. Even a question as simple as "Who is your enemy?" and like not having an answer just shows the eagerness to go fight, regardless who they're fighting. So this episode has been amazing. So good. I'm literally just. Struggling to even talk. Seihoku se kara bifu nami odayaka. Kesa wa Odin shin no kigen ga i. Shukko ni wa i i asa da na. Ah. Is this someone in Norway? It looks. It looks Scandinavian. 左手で投げて命中ならその坂だるは俺のもんだぞ。うるせえ。当たってから言え。死を。行くぞ、キリスト坊主。避けたら殺すぞ。あ、てめえ。避けたら。今避けたら。殺す。マジ殺す。次は俺だ。神父様。おい、ヨウムの兄さん方、あんたらも一杯やらねえか。<笑>大行儀が良くていらっしゃる。ほっとけ、安酒はお口に合わねえんだとよ。Those warriors seem terrifying, to be honest. Thor fought with them. They seem to just like be very bloodthirsty and just, but against their own kind as well, weirdly. Sounds, sounds like they got the priest. I call as a kissamano test of a hinga nine. Asherad Kiristo Kyonga Scone, I get a seal. Broke no damna. So really, Sasso to Shigoto no Hanasio Shimashoya. Testa domo moremo, Conna Hexi de Matasarete takes a state on this. Walking a hinko one night. Ponds. 
奴の船と積みにはお前たちの好きにしていいトールズを殺せ。Who sings the ending, by the way? Because it kind of sounds like Millet, weirdly. Ah, shit. Do you know what? When Thor said they never like, let deserters get away with it or something like that, what he said, I was wondering, because in my head I was thinking, he's a deserter. And they let him get away. And they've now invited him to join the battle, and that seems a bit suspicious, right? That was literally my thinking. Turns out Thor's right. Does he know he's right? It seems strange on one hand because you'd think if Thor is this incredible warrior, then two things. First thing is. First thing is like. When they went there, could they not have just killed him there? You know, they were all there on his land. So they couldn't have just killed him there, right? Why are they doing it this way? Did they need a reason to? But he deserted. Isn't that reason enough? The other thing is, if he's this incredible warrior, you'd think they'd actually want him to help them. You know, it seems like a waste of like a valuable asset, but then it's customs. But then that leads us back to why they didn't just kill him there. If the deserting thing is such a big deal, why have, why hire someone else to kill him? Why not just kill him yourself? Unless it's more of a Thor, such a great warrior, they thought they couldn't. You know, like it would be actually be tough for them to do it. So they're trying to sneakily do it because he's actually that badass, which could also be the case as well. Either way, it seems like Floki has gone off, hired whoever those dudes are, to sink Thor's ship before he even reaches mainland England. Interesting. Where are they going to make land as well? Because they have to sail. If Northumbria, I guess they have to sail down the coastline. Um, the eastern coastline. Is that what they're going to do? Um, I'm guessing. Maybe. The thing with Viking ships is based on their size, they were always like really actually. Because England is um, has tons of rivers, especially the northern part of England. Uh, like the the, the Midlands. <clears throat> and London obviously just has the Thames going through it. And Thames goes on for ages. So England is, it has like loads and loads of rivers. And the Viking ships were perfect when they first came to England because they could just, they didn't have to like land on our coastlines. They could just sail up our fucking country through the middle. Um, obviously it's quite dangerous because uh, the rivers aren't that big. So it's like, can be dangerous. But yeah, it's interesting. Um, but yeah, I wonder where they're going to make landfall then. Because from Norway, yeah, yeah. Interesting. A sea battle. I wonder what the next episode is going to look like. This one was really good in contrasting the different emotions that people are feeling when it comes to war. Thor's disdain for it and everyone else is cheering for it. His son's hunger for it. I feel like this is leading to like, some really dark scenes later down the line, especially highlighting how much these like young ones really want war, but Thor's like terror from it. I feel like we're about to see, I've, I've sensed a lot of darkness on the horizon with this anime. I've, this one episode, I feel like sets up a lot of brutality later down the line. I might be wrong. That's just what I'm getting from it. But honestly, what brilliantly written, very well paced, and really sets the tone. I liked episode one. I feel like I, I think episode two was just perfectly done. This anime is going to be really interesting. If it maintains this level of like storytelling, not focusing so heavy on the combat, and then putting these scenes of really cool fights in and out of it, but also being like really heavy on the storytelling, I could fall in love with this quite good, like quite hard. Anyway, sorry for my voice being so raspy. Hopefully you can still hear me. Thank you very much for watching my reaction. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe to the channel. 
And as always, my friends, you will see me in the next video.